That's exactly why you two should face each other. The fans are dying to see what happens next. In fact, I just heard so many people were trying to buy the pay-per-view that the website crashed. Yeah, it was only temporary. And remember, it's Falls Count Anywhere tonight. So feel free to take the fight wherever you need to. Just as long as you don't damage the principal's car. She'll never let me do this out here again. Deal? There he is. The man who drowned in his own rising tide. Come back to apologize to me for stealing my shot at WWE and immediately throwing it away? <laughs> Look, I am not apologizing for anything, okay? All I want to say is that we don't need to have each other's backs, but with what Baron is planning to do, the least we could do is have each other's respect, all right? So, are we good? <laughs> oh, yeah. We're so good? I thought I'd introduce you to my new character I'm trying out tonight. You remember how Matt Bloom didn't like Mr. CQ and decided to give you a tryout instead of me? Sure. Smart decision. I'm calling myself Black Hole Cole because I have an energy so intense, nothing can escape it. <sighs> what? Oh, you don't like it? Why? Not a fan of masks these days? <laughs> You know, I find it really interesting that I was attacked by somebody wearing a mask, and next time I see you, you have a mask. Not to mention, you also had all the motivation in the world to do it. Hmm. You're right. It was me. So what are you gonna do about it? Uh, you better tell me the truth right now. It wasn't me! I, uh, I had a match that night 300 miles away. I got the gas receipts to prove it. But I could have hired somebody to do it. What?! It was a joke! Man, relax! You're real funny. Real funny. We'll see who's laughing after our match tonight. The audience will be showing up soon. Get back to the cafeteria kitchen. I mean, locker room. The audience will be showing up soon. Get back to the cafeteria kitchen. I mean, locker room.
Hey, Triple H, I know you're watching. Impressed with what you see so far? Well, sorry, you had a shot at signing these two, and you blew it. They're BCW for life now. Black Hole Cole still feels like Buzz stole his WWE opportunity, and now he's out for revenge. He should also get revenge on whoever told him that new name was a good idea. Just a reminder, this match is Falls Count Anywhere in the general parking lot area, as we didn't pay to have the street closed. BCW is getting bigger, but we're not traffic control big yet, okay? Record-setting crowd here for BCW tonight. This is by far the hottest ticket in town. Take that, bingo night at St. Mary's Church. if anyone's having difficulty with your pay-per-view stream. To be honest, we underestimated the demand to see Buzz in action. We'd offer refunds, but hey, this event's streaming from a high school parking lot. So what'd you expect? For those of you who are late to the party, welcome to BCW's very first streaming pay-per-view. We're Buzz, that's his name now, if you've been living under a rock, and Black Hole Cole, okay, are facing each other in a Falls Count Anywhere match. This takes me back to the marathon beatdown between Owen Schwartz and Mason Cunin for the tight. Just a reminder, this match is Falls Count Anywhere in the general parking lot area, as we didn't pay to have the street closed. BCW is getting bigger, but we're not traffic control big yet, okay? We apologize if anyone's having difficulty with your pay-per-view stream. To be honest, we underestimated the demand to see Buzz in action. We'd offer refunds, but hey, this event's streaming from a high school parking lot. So what'd you expect? One, two, three.
That was amazing! The live crowd loved it. You managed to avoid wrecking the principal's car, and the pay-per-view buys were off the charts. You two will be getting nice bonus checks in the mail for that. <laughs> oh, uh, I'll hand deliver yours since the last time I checked, you can't send mail to vans. <laughs> that was quite the battle. It was. Uh, sorry about your windshield. It's okay. Baron said he'd pay for it. <laughs> hey, you're a lot tougher than I thought you were. You proved that tonight. And I didn't really get it before, but now I'm starting to understand why they're calling you Buzz. It's pretty much just Baron calling me that. It's gonna catch on. You'll see. Well, my bad for getting fired up about the mask earlier. We good? We're good. That's great, guys, but don't get too friendly because you'll be facing each other again soon in an even bigger rematch. I just need time to build something. Baron, since when have you built anything ever? Well, I'm not actually building it myself, but I am designing it. In the meantime, I have some great opportunities for both of you to build off the success of tonight's show. Cole, an up-and-coming promotion in Japan wants you to go wrestle for them. Ho ho ho! Even Japan can't escape the energy of black hole coal. <laughs> right. Actually, they explicitly said to not do that character. They just want Cole Quinn. And Buzz, we are headed south of the border for a match versus Mexico's hottest luchador, El Mago! Es increíble! What? I took a few years of Spanish in high school. What? Guess that'll be useful on our trip. Hey, big things are happening for us in BCW. It's all coming together. Now, what do you say we bring it in for a big celebratory BCW handshake? Yeah. Uh, uh, come on. Uh, uh. <laughs> This is huge that we're already expanding internationally. Our plan to take it to Triple H and WWE is working faster than expected. See, you just needed to trust me. Study up on some Lucha Libre footage. As you know, it's a completely different style. And if you accidentally drink the water there, make sure you wear brown tights. Is that a chunk of my skin? Gross.
Wakey, wakey, earthquakey. We're having an earthquake? No, no, no. I'm just playing the wrestler wake up game, man. Relax. You might want to choose a less terrifying wrestler name next time. Yeah, noted. We made it. Already? It really didn't seem like we were driving two days. Gee, I wonder why. It's because you've been asleep two days. Hey, I need my genius promoter rest. Uh-huh. How do you say I need a shower in Spanish? Necesita un shower? I don't know. I don't remember the word for shower. <laughs> You're a lot of help. Did you see that? What? That masked guy who attacked me, he's here. I think you're seeing things from being awake for so long. I'm telling you that was him. How about you get some rest before your big match tonight? We need to keep all our momentum going. Can't have any setbacks due to hallucinations. You know? That wasn't a hallucination. <laughs> all right. Wait, stop, pull over! What, what is it? Did you see him? No! I want to try some authentic Mexican street corn! You're the worst. Shut on! Muy impresionante la lucha libre de vos. Tal vez hizo su tarea. Escuché que el adversario del mago habla español. Pues bienvenidos a México, boss, y buena suerte. Lo siento, el mago, pero el que se lleva una máscara se parece enemigo a vos.
Boss ha ganado todas sus luchas, pero el mago tiene sus trucos. Su primera lucha de Boss en México y será la última si gana el mago. Esta lucha ha sido increíble, como nos dijo Baron Blade toda la semana pasada. A mí no me parece que vos tiene miedo. Si hubiera luchado contra Braun Strowman, tampoco tendría miedo. Dos luchadores al punto de convertirse en superestrellas. ¿Quién será? ¿Quién va a ser? Ahorita Buzz no parece cansado. Tal vez tenía un buen viaje. Solamente lo mejor por los hombres de Baron Blade. ¡Qué noche hermosa! Hace buen tiempo mientras estamos afuera. Tal vez el mago lo controla. Vos tiene el impulso, pero el mago puede hacerlo desaparecer. ¿Qué pasa aquí? Es el enmascarado que atacó al boss en el evento de WWE. ¡Qué horror! ¡Terrible! ¡Qué lástima que esta lucha tremenda termina así! ¡Llévaselo de aquí! ¡Sácalo! Now do you believe? I guess so. Look, I don't know why you're doing this, but I am not going to let you try to ruin my career ever again. Lo siento. Soy un fan y solo quería atención. Perdóname, por favor. What's he saying? Did he admit to everything? No. He's a fan. He's just craving attention. He's a copycat. He's not the same guy. Let him go. Oh, gracias, señor. Oye, ¿puedo tener un autógrafo? You have a mark. You're a better man than I am. Do that again, Buzz.
Yes. Oh. Well, your big Mexico debut didn't go quite as planned, but the match was great up until the end. And any publicity is good publicity, right? You've still got the buzz going. Yeah, I guess. In Ducha. I looked it up. build for our big rematch, right? What is it, a tetanus tornado match? Yep, it's a beauty, don't you think? I'd say it's more beast than beauty. Well, its official name is the Scrap Trap. Not only are we gonna have our biggest streaming audience yet, we're doing it in one of WWE's most iconic venues. It's like we're invading their territory. Man, I wish I could see the look on Triple H's face when he sees this. Where did this even come from? Where did you dig this up? All over. I salvaged it from other wrestling promotions, a junkyard scrap. That section is from WCW's Triple Cage. That is from an ECW cage, and I believe this to be an old prison fence. <laughs> Pretty neat, huh? I think a better name would be Death Trap. This violates every health code known to mankind. <laughs> yeah, it does. I saw what happened in Mexico. Too bad some idiot had to go and ruin a great match. <laughs> yes, Baron. Japan was great. I was free to be myself, and the fans really respected that. So, I'm gonna try that from now on here in the US. Really? <laughs> yeah, assuming I survived the scrap trap tonight. No! But that's the appeal of it. And you know what I always say? I do always say that, but that's not the catchphrase I was referring to. Yes, that's the one. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Have you had a tetanus shot recently?
Guys, that truly topped anything you've ever done before. But I'm afraid I got some bad news. What? Yeah, what happened? Our pay-per-view stream went down in the middle of your match. No one watching online got to see how it ended. <laughs> Did Rash or something? What happened? No, we were taken down intentionally by Triple H. Triple H? How could he even do that? He and WWE's lawyers are claiming they have exclusive rights to broadcast from this venue. Damn it! With refund requests. Don't think you're getting any bonus checks for this show, guys. I'm sorry. Does either of you know if you can return slightly used jet skis? I might have jumped the gun. We'll circle back to that later. First, Triple H unfairly pulls my contract from defending myself from an attack and now he's trying to sabotage our business? We have to strike back. They have a team of lawyers and an endless supply of cash. You guys just competed in a cage made from an old prison fence. What could we possibly do to them? Well, you said it earlier. Tonight was like we're invading their territory, right? So, what if we actually did that? What do you mean? I mean... We hit Triple H exactly where it hurts the most by selling him used jet skis. Invading NXT. Invading NXT. Totally on the same page as you, Buzz. I don't know about this, guys. It seems risky. Why? We've both been rejected by WWE, so what do we have to lose, right? And this is what you wanted, Baron. You wanted this. You said it yourself. Our plan was to stick it to Triple H. So what do you say? I think we're gonna need a really big stick. 
That's what I'm talking about. Hey Cole, you got the tickets? Front row, just like you wanted. This is your electric bill. Oh, sorry. Wrong pocket. Huh. Thank you. This is it, Buzz. You ready? Oh, I'm ready. You guys remember when Triple H and DX invaded WCW? People still talk about that to this very day. This is going to be very good for us and BCW. Just be ready for anything. I'll be pulling for you. Message from July 12th, 2014. From inside the ring to behind the scenes, you're about to be up to no good with former WWE superstar Hood Benson and his co-host Pete Clark. Uh, all right. Yeah, Pete, I, I, I'm just saying, Pete, you can't get into a fight with a fan, no matter what the circumstances are. Oh, but Hood, the you know, fan I, attacked I, him I, first. What was he supposed I, to do? Yeah, hey, hey, look, 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 I, I, I get it. You know, it's, it's, it's a tough situation to be in. You know, fans are crazy, you know. And, oh, yeah. And 30 years ago, I, I probably would have done much worse than this <laughs> yes, guy you did. Would. And, you know, uh -huh. ended up in jail. Yeah. You know? <laughs> but, 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 but he has to realize that WWE is the big leagues. Yeah, well, you know, well. this is not, this is, this is, this it's not in the garage, you know. This, this is there's zero tolerance for that sort of thing. There's no ifs, ands, or, or buts about yeah. it, and then that, that's why Triple H had no chance to but to pull his contract. No choice. Well, I would have liked to see him get a second chance. A, a second chance. Yeah. yeah he, he, he ain't even had him. He, he ain't even signed the contract yet for his first chance. All right. <laughs> you know, he, he he didn't even earn a right for a second chance. Okay, fine. <laughs> but let's talk about what's happened since then. The videos of the fight have gone viral, and BCW is capitalizing on the notoriety. Uh, by having their very first online pay-per-view. Uh, so it yeah. seems as if Baron Blade and his protege are making a positive out of this, no? Uh, I, I, I will give him credit for that. Right. You, know, you, you gotta strike while the iron's hot. Yeah. Right now, this this guy's lava hot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we, we wouldn't be talking about him otherwise. Mm -hmm. So, are you gonna order the pay-per-view? I do want to see what this guy's all about in the ring, you know. So I was thinking maybe you could order it at your house and I'll come over to watch. I uh, knew that was bring coming. Some chips and everything. Hey, yeah, what, yeah. What, what do I always say? It's it's not how much you make, it's how much you save. Yeah, by mooching off your friends. Exactly. Well, nah, you know, hey, look, I'll get the next one. <laughs> oh, famous <laughs> last words. Sure you will. Let's take a minute to hear from our advertisers who pay for this show and also allow me to afford to have you use my friend. <laughs> His voice was the soundtrack for the biggest matches in Square and Circle history. And now he breaks down the latest happenings in the world of pro wrestling. Get ready for enticing conversations with legendary wrestling commentator Jack Tice. Former wrestler now any promoter Baron Blade has been in the news along with his protege from BCW, who reports say had a contract offer on the table from WWE until he got into a fight with a masked fan outside the arena after his tryout match. Now word is Triple H was furious and pulled the contract offer the next day. We uh, tracked down the person who recorded the video of the altercation that went viral, and uh, he had this to say. 
I was recording the video on my phone when the guy in the mask came out of nowhere and attacked him. I didn't get a real good look at the mask guy, because it happened so fast, but from the way he was fighting, it seemed like he knew what he was doing. Like he wasn't just some regular fan. Interesting first-hand account on what went down, but uh, I wanted to hear from the man who's now capitalizing on this controversy. So uh, I reached out to BCW owner Baron Blade. Uh, here's a preview of what he had to say. Jack, you've been in this business for a long time, so you know it was once possible for a wrestler to be successful outside the WWE umbrella. And that's what I'm trying to do with BCW and Buzz. That's what we're calling him now, by the way, on account of all the buzz he's generating. But back to my point, which is, who knows what would have happened if Buzz signed with NXT? It might have been two or three years before he was called up to Raw or SmackDown, and there's no guaranteeing that would have even happened at all. But I'm helping him make his own success right now. BCW is small, and we can move fast to capitalize on all the attention. WWE is this huge behemoth of a company where you need to hold 25 meetings to make a decision that we can make in two minutes. Oh, I know all about that, believe me. And I'm not saying that BCW is going to take down WWE. I mean, I'm crazy, but I'm not that crazy. All I'm saying is that guys like Buzz and Cole Quinn have a lot more opportunities right now with me than they might ever have with WWE. Very interesting comments from Baron Blade, who is about to hold BCW's very first internet-only pay-per-view. Uh, Buzz, as Baron's calling him, has made his name online, and they're sticking with that platform for their show. A smart move, in my opinion. Uh, coming up, you'll hear much more from my conversation with Baron Blade, including who he thinks might have attacked his protege, Buzz. You don't want to miss out on that. But first, a word from our sponsors. From inside the ring to behind the scenes, you're about to be up to no good with former WWE superstar Hood Benson and his co-host, Pete Clark. It's like Buzz can't get away from what happened. I mean, he had a match in Mexico versus El Mago, which mm -hmm. was a great match, but then out comes some idiot wearing the same mask as the <laughs> fan who attacked him outside the WWE arena. And the match is ruined. Yeah, uh, you know, I, I didn't see the match, but this, 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 this kind of stuff happens. Wow. Uh, it's, it's, it's especially in places like Mexico, where the audience is very passionate uh, about wrestling. Okay, I guess. You know, I, I once had a fan in Mexico sneak into my hotel room disguised as a room service guy. <laughs> what? Uh, wow. Yeah. Uh, that's what saying. Did you tip him? Yeah, I, I tipped him right over the balcony. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> you know, you don't sneak into a wrestler's hotel rooms, people. Bad idea. Very, that's very bad. some <laughs> solid advice, Hood. Uh, by the way, did you see BCW is running their next streaming pay-per-view from the same venue that was once home to Monday Night Raw? Uh, that's a big step up from my school parking lot. Yeah, it is. And, and, and let's be real. It's it's a it's it's a shot across WWE's bow, yeah. you know. It's it's no it's it's no coincidence that BCW's running this venue. You feel me? Mm. They 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 they're doing it to send a message to WWE. Well, what do you think that message is? You'd have to ask them. Oh. But but I think at the very least it's saying, "Hey, look at us. We not, we might not be in the same ballpark as you yet, but we're in the tailgating. We're tailgating in the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's certainly going to bring BCW to a whole new level, especially with the rumors swirling about the big rematch between Buzz and Cole Quinn. Hey, they better be careful though, you know, yeah. because they might be biting off more than they can. They they they, they can easier being the, the mean little guy flying under the radar. Now they're in the spotlight, and they they they've rattled the big dog's chain. I think you just set a record for the number of cliches in one speech. Hey, I'm just calling it like I see it, man. <laughs> another one. Does this studio have a balcony, what? man? Because I'm, I'm about tired of you, man. <laughs> I think you might need the, the Mexican room service guide treatment. Oh, yeah. boy. Okay. Well, thankfully for me, there is no balcony here that I know of. Uh, maybe we should take a quick break to cool things down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me give me some more tea, man. Give me some, some lemonade. You know, I, I think, that's a, I think that, that's a good idea right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 90 proof tea, please, right here. <laughs> Thirsty.